Hi guys, welcome to another video. This video, you will learn how to create a movie search application. Okay, let me show you how this works. So now I can just uh, simply search for any movie title. Um, let's just start with Marvel or probably um, Avatar. All right. So when I search for that, there's a list of avatar right here and I can click on any of um, this one. So um, this is the latest one, I believe. Let's click on that. Here you can see the descriptions of this movie and it also show an image as well. So now let's learn how to create this application. All right, guys, so this is the code. Um, I'll just go through this code and explain you how this uh, code uh, actually created, All right? So here we have the um, app.js and you will need to install React Router DOM. This is the library where it allows us to navigate to different pages. And we have the um, other two components. So the first one here is called movie search. And then this is the movie detail. All right. And here we basically um, wrap the router. Uh, around the routes and this is each route so each path um, to each um, of the page all right so this is the home page um, where you see the search okay so this is called movie search uh, component and the other one here once we have the release of the movie then we click on one of that and it will just uh, open the movie detail we can see the title the detail of what the movie is about and also the image of the uh, movie as well okay so this is um, the other component called movie details and once we click on that it will also grab the uh, id and it will uh, go to the path so now let's just um, have a look at the movie search first this is the component um, where we see uh, right here on the home page right we have the uh, Axios. Um, this is the library where we uh, get the data from um, the uh, database uh, via an API. And we also have the uh, React Router DOM as well, right? And here simply, um, this is the set search term whenever that we type in the search bar here. We will um, store that value in the search term. We have the set movie. So this is uh, after calling the API, right? After we getting the uh, data from the API, then it will store in this uh, movies, okay? And we also have the navigate. So the navigate here. When, um, I'll show you in a minute. So now let's go to the um, handle change. So whatever that we type on the uh, search bar here, then uh, we set the uh, search term. So it will store in the search term, right? So this is the handle change function about and the handle submit. So um, here we uh, use the ACOS. So we use the uh, get request uh, from this API. So now let me show you how to get the API key. So you can use this uh, URL, right? Now let's go to um, Google and search for the movie DB, okay? And here you can see the API key, right? Just click on this link here and it just um, open up this and it allow us to um, register for an API key. So click on this link here. Right now I say that uh, we don't have permission to this yet, but uh, here we can click um, to uh, simply create a new account, okay? So um, let's just click on here and this is the uh, username, uh, password, and also email as well. Let's just quickly create that. So give this a um, name. And password. And email, okay. Click on sign up. And we need to verify. So it sends us an email. So I have um, the email set up on my phone. I can just simply click on the button called uh, activate my account. All right, so email verified. Um, now I can log in. So log in with the password and click log in here. And here 
you see that um, we can create an API key, right? Just click here and it asks, um, there are two types. So one is professional, the other one is developer. And uh, this is also for individuals as well. Let's just click on this one here and accept the term of use. So accept. And here we can just uh, give the application a name. Let's just call movie search. And the application URL, uh, simply we can just use the uh, local host 3000. And what is this about? We can just say um, a movie search application, simple as that. And this is your name. Let's just uh, give my name here. First name, last name, also it asks for the um, phone number as well. And this is the address where you live and also the country and then you can click on the uh, submit button, right? Okay, so here this is the API key where you can uh, use this in the React application, all right? It has the version uh, 3 and also version 4 as well. We will be using the version 3. Okay, so um, it also shows us um, the example of API request as well with the API key and this is the same, right, as the above here. Now let's go back to the code and we continue with this uh, applications. Um, so this is the handle submit again. Um, here, this is the API key, right? And the query and whatever that this is the search term that we type in the um, search bar. And then once um, it successfully fetched the data from the database, it will, right? Uh, whatever the result uh, coming from the uh, database via the API, it will set it in the set uh, movies. If there's an error, it will show it in the uh, console, right? And here we also have the um, handle movie click as well. So when we click on something, right? So let's just search for uh, Marvel this time. Okay, so when I click on, let's just choose this one, click on it then it simply navigate to the movie slash movie id uh, slash movies slash movie id okay so this is the handle move click and down here we have the um, search for a movie okay and also the uh, input right and we also have the search button as well, type submit, and this is the uh, list of result, right? The list of result that it's showing um, based on what um, the search that we type. Um, and this one here is the uh, movie detail. Uh, we use the ACOS and we use the um, React Raptor DOM. Uh, this time we are using the uh, use param. So um, we have the use param here um, in the use uh, effects here. Okay, whenever that the page loads, it will just um, use the um, use the uh, endpoint of the API. Um, this time it's uh, slash ID, so this is dynamic uh, based on whatever that uh, we click from the uh, front page, right? So there's a list here with different movie ID. Then when we click on that, um, it will just use that ID here and with the uh, API key as well right here. So um, once we have the information or the data from the database, then we start in the set movie. So this is for each movie, right? And if there's an error, just console log that. And this is the uh, fetch movie, okay? So just uh, calling or uh, use this uh, function right here, right? This is using the async functions. And um, here we see if there's no movie data, then we just use uh, show the text loading. Um, and if there's data right from the database, then it show movie.title, just showing the title, the overview of the uh, movie, like the description. And this is the image, right? Um, for the image here, um, it will, this is the dynamic value. So uh, coming from the database, movie.poster path. Okay, so the path of the image. And this is the, uh, just uh, the title of the image, right? Um, let me just show you the same uh, similar thing, right? Let's just choose um, any of the avatar. Let's just say avatar five. Okay, so this is not, um, uh, this is a different avatar. Can right click, right? Open image. So this is the, okay, the path to the image. That's what it looks like, right? 
Okay, so when we use the use param here, um, the ID here is simply coming from, uh, where is it? Uh, coming from the navigate here, right? We pass the uh, movie ID through the path here, right? And it will just grab that value, the ID, and it will be using with the uh, movie slash uh, ID and uh, will be showing the uh, movie detail, okay? Um, here we have the index.css. Um, this one here, we just style the form, the uh, label, the input buttons, and also um, the list as well, okay? So, yep, that is this uh, application is about. And now let me just uh, quickly um, show you one more thing, right? When looking at this, we simply use the API key directly, right? Without having to secure it, okay? So this is not actually not recommended to do that. Let me show you the secure way how to uh, properly implement this. Um, let's just create a new uh, file it's called so outside of the um, source folder right don't you don't want to create the file uh, inside this folder so click on any of the file here create the uh, file called env here we can start um, define it has to be started with react app movie we just give it a name like movie api um, key right equal to the API key here. Just paste it there. Okay. And now we can start uh, using the uh, API key variable here. So to use this inside our uh, component, right? We can just um, use the dollar sign because this is now dynamic, right? So process dot env dot React app movie API key and the same for the other one as well. So inside this uh, movie detail component, we can just paste it here. Now let's try our application again. Uh, we have to first uh, quit this and then uh, restart the server. So npm start. And now let's see if it's working as expected. This time I'm going to search for uh, the movie that I like, right? Uh, let's just search for Khmer. Okay, so it's working fine. Um, I would recommend you to watch this movie. Uh, it's a Cambodian movie. Uh, first they kill my father. What is it about? A five-year-old girl father uh, was killed in the Khmer Rouge in Cambodia. Um, and now let me search for the other one, um, the other one that I like, right? The Queen's uh, Gambit. So this is also a good movie as well. It's about um, yeah chess competition. Um, let me show you another one. Uh, yeah, probably search for Jackie Chance. There's a lot of this movie, right? Can just um, yep uh, watch any of this. And the other one that recently released called Ant-Ment. I believe this is the latest one, right? And as you can see, whether it's old movie or it's the new ones, we can always search for this, right? It's very popular API for movie. Princess. Okay, Princess uh, Mononoke. And this is one of the most popular um, Japanese anime as well. This is also a good uh, one I would recommend so yeah that's basically um, about the movie search app it's a simple applications but um, it does the job it can search for anything right and we can also see the uh, response as well it's not only uh, show like um, the title the overview and also the image right it does has a lot more than that um, let's quickly show you what is inside the um, response.data, right? We want to see what is showing when we get it, okay? From the database. And let's search for avatar. Um, let's use this one here. Okay, so this is the result. It does has a lot. Um, it comes with um, the ID, right? 
Um, it also has the popularity based on the rating and spoken languages and there's a lot more information if you want to show it onto the uh, page here okay so yeah that's it for this uh, video i hope you enjoy it and i'll see you guys in the next video